greetings from Jibras Technologies. Form Presenter enables Google Forms with time, action and presentation controls so that users can conduct online quiz, exams, tests and assessments. Google Forms is an excellent tool for preparing online forms. However, when it comes to conducting tests online, one would require features like setting timer on the form, tracking audience behavior and uh, doing some customization on the presentation of the whole uh, test. Form presenter enables time, action, audience, presentation controls along with rich analytics and dashboard features on Google Form. To apply Form Presenter on any Google Form, simply install Form Presenter add-on and launch it. On Form Presenter, you have Presentation Controls, Time Controls, Audience Controls and Action Controls. Finally, you can publish the form. When someone views the Google Form through Form Presenter, it shows a welcome page initially before showing the Google Form. Presentation Controls helps you to customize the look and feel of welcome page and the Google Form appearance. You have options to set image, title, welcome message, change background color and image, change title color, change welcome message color. Let's configure for this form. Let me pick up an image. By default, the title will be same as the form name. I can change this. As I change, you can see that it appears on the top here. The welcome message can also be changed to whatever I want. I would want to set a background image. You can see how it appears here. Let me choose a, a color also. I'll choose title color as maroon color. Welcome message maybe in blue color. Okay. Now I have configured the look and feel of the welcome page and how the form should be appearing. Let us move on to time control. Time control enables you to set up when this form is available as well as set timer, set breaks, also set alert messages when the form is about to close. On time control, there are two ways you can enable the form to be available. One is always, second one is specific time. When you set up always, this form is available any time for access. When you set up specific time, the form is only available between the start date time and end date time. When you set up specific time, you can choose a time zone also. By default, it will automatically pick up your current time zone. You can also click here to guess your time zone or you can change your time zone from this menu. There are two types of timer available in Form Presenter. One is strict timer, the other one is the normal timer. The strict timer can be set up in conjunction with specific time. When you set up a strict timer, it enforces the form to be closed automatically on the end time. 
on the other hand the normal timer simply sets a duration based timer you can also set how many breaks that user can have and you can set an alert message to be shown when the form is about to be closed let's look at audience control this control enables who can log in and how many attempts that they can make by default user can access the form without logging into google but we can enforce that the audience has to log in into google before accessing the google form we can also set whether anyone can access this form or a specified emails and specified domains only can access this we can also set how many maximum attempts each one can take let's now look at action controls this enables tracking of activities of the audience if we enable capture photo this will ensure that the user captures their photo through their web camera if they do not have web camera or if they do not allow web camera to access their photo they will not be able to access the google form you can also make it as optional by clicking on skip enforce full screen will make sure that the form is presented on a full screen mode track full screen will ensure that any exit from full screen mode or coming back to full screen mode is tracked by form presenter track focus this tracks any switching between tabs or switching into some other application so as the name suggests it tracks the focus of the user with all these controls you can fully track your audience behavior once all the configuration is done we can publish the form and make it available to the audience so let us quickly review our setup we have set the presentation controls here we have set the timer control for simplicity i have kept it as always and i am making this enforce login so that the user has to login and i am making all action controls set up i am skipping the photo capture so let me go ahead and publish the form form is successfully published once the form is published you will see a set of icons that is available here so you can view the published form you can take a copy of the link you can unpublish it you can see the audience dashboard so view is to launch the form this is to get the link and then if you want to share it with somebody you can share it with this is for unpublishing it this is for seeing the audience dashboard once the form is published you can invite your audience through email this is simple template that is available here which you can customize and select to whom you want to send all this invites and click on send invites this shows the remaining email quota as per your gmail quota provided by g suite so let's put some email here you can put emails with comma separate let me send an email so the invite is sent successfully the invitees will get this kind of email so in that there is a link which will point them to the google form
based on our setup it requires login by the user so we are enforcing a login let them log in we have mentioned that we want to capture photo that is why it is asking that it will it is going to capture the photo we have also said that it you can skip it so i can deny it and then skip that so now this shows the welcome message here titled here the image that i have selected the background and the background color and all these things and it also says that it is for a timer of three minutes total time so i can click this and start So the form is presented on a full screen mode because we have enabled full screen. If the user exits from full screen, that will be tracked because we have switched on tracking of full screen. At the same time, if he moves from one screen to another screen or one tab to another tab or a different application, that will also be tracked. So now you can see that the timer is running here. So this form needs to be submitted within this time. We have configured that user can take two breaks. So I can pause the timer and take one break. So this is a break and then if when I want to come back, I can click here. During the break, the timer is stopped. So if I resume the timer, the timer continues to run here. So let me choose some answers. Notice that this is a tracking ID. This is for tracking purposes that is used by form presenter. So you shouldn't be changing this. Your user also should not be changing. This has specific instructions here not to be changed. So let's go ahead and submit this form. Once it is submitted, form presenter will automatically identify the submission and say thank you and close the form. Once you have published the form and your audience has started using the form, uh, filling in, submitting it and all that, you can track them live from audience dashboard. So there are two ways to go into audience dashboard. One is uh, go into the sidebar, click on this view audience dashboard. It will require you to log in. Once you go here, you will see the audience dashboard. So this will show the complete list of people who are uh, using your form. The other way of reaching here is go to presenter.gibrus.com. This again requires you to log in. This will show you all the forms that you have published, right? So once you have seen that, you can you have uh, links to those forms and you have share links and you have open links and all that. Uh, but if you want to reach to the uh, audience dashboard, you can click on the open audience profile. So that will also take you to the audience profile for this particular form. Uh, so if you have multiple users, they all will get listed here. Uh, just for the demo purpose, I have just shown only one user here. Uh, so quickly go through this, what information that we are seeing here. We are seeing a profile information, we are seeing user. Uh, if there is a photo capturing from webcam, that will come here. And when the user has signed in and when he uh, started using it, how many breaks that he has taken, when he has completed, if, in case if he has completed and then how long it took the whole exercise so that will be covered here the status will be showing what exactly the status the user is currently in in the initial status will be visited uh, once the user starts the test it will be started and if he completes it it will come as submitted if he uh, could not complete it within the time it will say timed out you can see the device information here and you can see the activities uh, happened here in case if you are tracking the activities or tracking the device information. Uh, you can refresh this to keep seeing or live track uh, more users as they are coming in. 
You can also download this into a CSV and use it for your own analysis. To demonstrate the live tracking, I have just invited one of my colleagues here. Uh, so when you refresh here, we should be able to see that this new person called Bestus who has been invited. So you can see that email is here, he's invited so it shows single tick. The people who have submitted, it will show double tick blue color and you can see the status is invited. So there is no other information that has been here. Uh, so about this uh, tick, this is similar to WhatsApp status. Uh, so invited shows a single tick in gray color. If the person has visited and started uh, the uh, started the test, then it showed double tick, gray color. Submitted means double tick in blue color. And if there is a timeout, then it will show double tick in red color. So let me now ask my colleague to uh, start the form. Let's see. Let me track what is going on now. I can see that this person has visited now. So it collects the name and uh, the profile image and all this information. And it also shows the signed in. So he signed in and he has visited here. So that means uh, this, this shows a different tick, double uh, gray tick uh, to, to differentiate from just invited to visited. I'll continue to live track. Let me refresh again. I see this now he has started it. Let me continue monitoring this. Let me refresh. Oh, I see that uh, he has timed out. He could not complete this form within this time. And the status becomes timeout. And this marker shows double tick with uh, red color. So that's how uh, the audience dashboard helps you to live track and see how things are going. Keep exploring form presenter and do let us know if you have any feedback. Do not forget to rate and comment in G Suite Marketplace. Thank you. Mm -hmm.